Hello and welcome to today's Logic Pro quick tip. We're looking at how to maximize using your mouse. Okay, up at the top center, you can see these two drop down menus. This is your left click mouse, and this is your command click mouse command. So I currently have a pointer on left click and marquee on command click. If I change that to say the zoom tool, this now becomes the zoom tool. So as I hold down command, it turns the mouse into the zoom tool. So that's two ways to optimize the mouse command you use most often. A good thing to do is to turn on this setting under the general options for editing. If you come in here, you will see you can activate these two tools, fade tool click zones and marquee tool click zones. Now, if you don't use marquee tool clicks, maybe you could leave that off, but I would tend to leave fade tool click zones on when you're working with audio. Let's get some audio out of the loops. So here we have. Commonly, you might want to actually merge these two together. So what you can do is now that we have the fade click zones on, if I click and drag in the top half here, you see I can cross fade these two tracks that are next to each other. You can also do this at the end of a track to fade it out. And if you hover over that fade, you can then change the curve. It also works to fade audio tracks in, again, with the option to change the curve. So that's fade click. If you hover your mouse in the lower section of an audio track, you will get the marquee tool visible to you, which you can then use. If you double click, you can quickly cut a section using the marquee tool. Don't forget you can use the mouse to click and drag your audio sections around. If I hover here on the edge, I can loop audio by clicking and dragging. And if I come further down here, I can shorten the region as well. This is also true for MIDI regions where at the top I can loop and towards the bottom I can extend or shorten. The final trick, if you don't want to remember all of that, is that at any point you can click T and it will bring up the mouse menu options. By picking one of these, it will become the left click option. But again, if I press T on the keyboard, this time I hold down Command, you don't see anything happen, but look at the command tool is currently zoom. Because I'm holding down command this time and I click solo, it changes the command click tool. So really quick tip there. That's it for working with the mouse. I hope you found that interesting. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.